So you've had this haul, you need to have a computer science background, you need to be a math channel. So in today's video, I really just want to debunk five common myths about a data analyst role. Welcome to my channel. My name is Adebola. I currently work as a remote data analyst and I've been working in this role for more than three years now and I have six years of corporate work experience. On this channel, I share things around data, around helping you to land your first data analyst role. I share things around productivity that can really just help you to level up your career. In today's video, the first myth that I would speak on is around people saying you need to have a computer science background or you need to have a master's degree. I honestly do not have either of them right um, but I like to believe that the reason why people say that sometimes is with becoming a data analyst there's some skills that you would learn and most times people that have background in computer science these are things they will most likely have learned while they were in uni right so it's really not compulsory that you need to have a background in this field it's just like to give you an upper hedge and whatever that you're learning because for people that don't have background in computer science, they will most likely be, you know, learning it for the first time. So if you're someone that is looking to become a data analyst, you're looking to explore a career in the data science field, you do not need to have a background in computer science. Whatever career or whatever degree that you currently have, it can definitely get you started. And any new skills that you need to learn in becoming a data analyst, these are things that you can learn and you can thrive in the role so the second myth is that building dashboards and visuals that it's easy and that's all data analysts do that's not all what data analysts do and i'm saying this from from my own personal experience building visuals is one of the things that i struggled with the most i even enjoy like the coding the analysis part of being a data analyst and like building the visuals and um, that's because it requires a lot of thinking a lot of analysis a lot of just trying to understand that whatever chart, whatever figures, whatever visuals you're trying to put out there, you're presenting it in a way that your stakeholders would understand what the data is saying. So yeah, building dashboards is not easy, at least for me. That's not all that it is about data analysis. The third myth is around the fact that you must be a math genius. And I've also seen people leave this comment on my YouTube channel where they will say, oh, I'm not good in math. Can I say explore this field? Based on my own experience, I think you can. I think you just need to like know some basic math and start and you're good to go. So you do not need to be extremely good in math before you can explore this field. So the fourth myth is around, or oh, if you take a certification course now, you're going to get a job, you can have everything figured out. And honestly, it's really not the case. Most often than not, Having a certification doesn't even guarantee you a job. I mean, I've seen people that they take a certification course and in like the following month, they get a job, but those people are just outliers, right? And I'm also just saying this so that if you're someone that is looking to like explore this field or you're currently taking some courses and you're not getting the job so that you don't put yourself on unnecessary pressure. So the final myth is around the fact that data analysis is all about numbers, right? So even though numbers is a big, deal or like is a big thing of what we do if you currently work as a data analyst it revolves more than that so there is the storytelling there is the analysis there is the communicating your insights to like your different stakeholders and i hope this just give you like a full picture of the fact that numbers is not on is not the only thing that data analysts do so i think those are like the five myths i hope this makes sense i hope you've picked one or two things if there's any myth that you've also, you know, hear around or, or like you've heard people say, please leave them in the comments. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and see you in my next video. Bye.